to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Tuesday, September 20th of 2022, Hurricane Fiona attacked with force in the eastern region of the country after passing through Higüey, Punta Cana, Miches, El Seibo, Atomayor, Samaná, among other locations, leaving behind a situation that the authorities define as calamitous. The hotel sector in the eastern region has been operating without major setbacks since yesterday afternoon in at least between 80% and 90% of occupations and does not report any damage to tourists. Yesterday, at the entrance of the city of La Vega, a south-north overpass bridge collapsed on the Duarte Highway, which had been undergoing repair work for two months by the Ministry of Public Works. Fear seized the residents of the banks of the Osama and Isabella Rivers in the face of the flooding caused by the downpours left by storm by Hurricane Fiona. Isidro Quiñones became the first fatality of Hurricane Fiona in the Dominican Republic after he died this Monday after being hit by the felling of a tree in the community of Matancita in the municipality of Nagua in the northeast of the country. Contagions and outbreaks of leptospirosis, gastric and respiratory illness, and an increase in cases of dengue and malaria are among the main risks of diseases that could affect the Dominican population as a result of the floods. The country only reported 88 cases of COVID yesterday in the last 24 hours, although it maintains a high percentage of daily positivity, which reached 22.28% yesterday. The effects generated by Hurricane Fiona continue to affect the country. This Monday, at least 18 commercial operations were canceled by Las Americas International Airport, leaving dozens of passengers stranded in the airport terminal. The Dominican Port Authority ordered the temporary closure of port operations for the entry of ships until weather conditions allow it, due to the passage of Hurricane Fiona, which has affected the country since early Monday morning. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario. Voice over and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listing Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.